Now, this is what I told you that in the second year for the deferred tax, we bring rather what? Movement in deferred tax. So, for the second year, we need to calculate movement in DT liability. And that is going to be the new balance 517 minus what? The old 233. What did we get? What did we get? One. Some of us are saying that I'm on board with. And now they are more on it. Two eight four. Two eight four. So this is what goes to the income statement. Then in the year two, we need to charge the grant for year two. So let me just slash that one there. Government grant charged for year two. Now this will be for the full year. So it will be 2,000 divided by eight, and that will give us what? 2,000 divided by eight, 250. 250. So this is what goes to the income statement for year two in relation to government grant. So what will be the, I didn't even bring the current amount of the grant here. Give it to me. Government grant carrying amount will be what? 2,000 year minus 146. Give me 1854. When I get to the balance sheet, I'll talk about it. Or the state of financial position. So carrying amount of the grant in the second year. 1854 minus what? 250. What do we have? One six and I'm assuming you have Okay. That's it. That's it. So these are the workings you were supposed to do for the question. Remember, we've not answered the question yet. It says the financial statement. The financial statement. So let me put my financial statement upstairs. So the income statement for the year ended thirty first October twenty seventeen and twenty eighteen. And I will present it in a columnar form. So I'm gonna put twenty seventeen on one side, twenty eighteen on the other side. We're working in thousands of thousands up. So what are the things we said will come to the income statement? Depreciation. So depreciation. Now I didn't number my workings. So I could say this is workings one. Could do this as two. I could do this as three. I could do this as four. Could do this as five. And movement as six, and this as seven. Why do I need the workings? Professional presentation to present. So workings one, one one six seven, and then the depreciation for twenty eighteen will be what? Two thousand. There you go. Then we come to defer tax. What we got? Okay. That's working. Okay, so two. Two. And the movement. Okay. Working is four. How much? Working is six. Two eight four. Is it six rather? Yeah. So, yeah. so that's the idea. So in the second year, the movement in the fair tax is what comes. There we go. Government grants that we charge. So we could say government grant received, and that's where it is three. One, four, six, and then two, fifty, seven. Now, remember, this is an income, these are expenses. So we put them in brackets. Assuming that the third tax in the second year fell. Then it will be what? An asset. In that case, it will have been what? A positive answer. 
but it's a liability, so that's why it's a negative quantum. Okay. Then we come to the statement of financial position. So they all bought those they more than that. So I actually just need to screen this up. So look at the balance sheet or statement of financial position. As at 31st October 2017 and 2018. So still, I'm going to go columnar form. So 2017, 2018. Myself, when I was setting this question, this is my question. I said the question. <laughs> when I was setting the question, I was laughing. But I knew that it's a question that will just be nice. Property, plant, and equipment. Work is one. Carry value for first year. 14, 833. Then the second year. 12833. There you go. So that is the asset aspect. Then we come to the liability aspect. Under the liability, I like to bring the deferred tax. The deferred tax provisions. Workings 2 and workings 4. What do we bring? First year was 233. Three. But be careful. In the balance sheet, you don't bring movement. You bring what? The new balance, which is 517. And remember, that should be under non current liability. Professional presentation again. You need to show the examiner that, like, you know the thing. Right? Liability. And you say, OJ Max, take a one. So non-current liability. Now, the grant figure, 1854, could be split into what? Two. The current aspect and then what? The non-current aspect. So, government grant. The non-current aspect is going to be, for the first year, how much? 1854 minus the annual charge, which is how much? 50. 1605. Then the current liability, you bring that there, government grant, the 205. Sorry, 250 will come there. So, what do we have for year two? Year two will be, what was year two's figure? My paper, 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 Year two? No, it looks too big. Oh. It's, it's the one six zero four minus minus two fifty. Yeah. No, it's not the one six zero four. It's one eight five. So it's one six zero four minus two fifty. That's what I said. Okay, okay. So what do I have? One three five four. This is it. This is it. So this is how I said you split the grant into what? The current and the non-current component. So the current component is always what? The annual charge. The non-current component is the difference between the current amount and the what? The annual charge. So this is what the examiner wants us to do. Examiner and Shira Premium. It's just a punishment question. <laughs> so would there be a CA person that will give you government grants in this thing? It will, it, everything is possible. No. So give four marks. It will, it, everything is possible. It, four, everything five, everything four, is possible. Four, four, four marks. I'm going to get 20 marks. I'm going to get four marks. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much, I know.